Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about splitting your terminal and why you might want to do this. So oftentimes when I'm developing an application, I find myself going back and forth between uh, windows and that this tends to slow me down. So I, I like to be uh, in the same window and be able to monitor my, my server, start it, stop it, uh, also monitor the tests that I'm, I might be running. So I'm going to share with everybody how I do this on the Mac. So the first uh, the, the first strategy is to do a horizontal split, which we can accomplish by go, uh, pressing on the command Shift and D on your terminal. I mean on your on your keyboard. So on your keyboard, press Command Shift D. I'm going to do that right now. Command Shift. D and as you, if you look at the bottom there we have a horizontal split so the next one is going to be the vertical split which we can accomplish by going to our keyboard and pressing on command D command D if you look on the right side we have a new uh, vertical split that has been uh, created there so to navigate clockwise, we just push, go to our keyboard, press on command, and then the right square bracket. So command, right square bracket, gets us going clockwise in our windows. And then to do the opposite, it's command, left square bracket, that gets us going anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise. Okay. So let's just exit out of these. I'm going to exit out of mine, exit out of that, and then I'm going to exit out of uh, Vim. Then we'll see how we might be able to take advantage of this. So first of all, I'm going to create a project, I'm, uh, a Rails project, and I'm going to use a template to uh, create this project. So Rails new blog. Okay, so I'm gonna fire this up. So instead of me waiting for my uh, project to be created, I'm going to start splitting my terminal so that I can start working on other things. So let's do a horizontal split. That was Command Shift D. That was the horizontal split. And now I'm gonna do a vertical split. Command D. As you can see, my project is still getting created over there, and I'm not waiting for for it to, to complete. I have new windows that I can be using here. So let me see where I am at on the right side here. Let me enter into my blog, CD blog. I know my, my server has started here, but I'm going to stop it by typing in Control C, and I will prefer to have it on the right and I'll just uh, go rails s that fires up my server and then I'm going to split this one into uh, split it horizontally too so remember the horizontal split is command shift D okay so up here we have the server running and here we I can run the test so can just say our spec my test will be running he will be running here all right and over here I can uh, type in my commands on the left at the top here I can uh, use that as my editing space and I use vim so I'm gonna just say vim let me go into my I need to get into the blog into my project first and I'll just type in Vim. I want to inspect the gem file, see how it looks like. Okay, there's my gem file. And then I need, I'm just going to split this using Vim. So VSP is vertical split. So that splits my, my window there. And I have uh, two different windows. Uh, and I can even go to the right side there and open up a different file 
let's say I just want to, I know I created a pages file using my, uh, my template. So I'm just going to say E controller and I want the pages controller and there it is. I can now use that and I can start coding over here. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.